One man. Two mics. Multiple personalities. Bringing you the latest in current events. This, this is, is Beyond, Beyond the Scuttlebutt. Hey everybody, how's it going? Cooper Chasco here, as always. How you doing? You doing good? I really hope you are. I hope you be doing better than the Texas Democrats right now. A ton of them are constantly getting infected with coronavirus. Over the weekend, we've had five with VP Harris meeting with a couple of them and refusing quarantine. Imagine that. Rules for ED, but not for me. Well, let's get to it from the Daily Mail. So, from the Daily Mail, two more runaway Texas Dems test positive for COVID, bringing total to five, claiming it shows their sacrifice for democracy. Please, their sacrifice for democracy? How think so? Photo shows both fugitives meeting with VP Harris before she made unannounced visit to Walter Reed on Sunday. I like how they phrased that. To both fugitives. Because <laughs> they are. Because remember, they are wanted in Texas, where they will be arrested as soon as they step foot. And I'm looking forward. So... Two more Texas Democrats have tested positive for coronavirus during a trip they took to Washington, D.C. Three Texas lawmakers had previously tested positive on Friday and Saturday. San Antonio Rep. Trey Martinez Fisher said on Sunday he was among the two new positive tests, while Austin Rep. Celia Israel was among the group of three. So... This is very hypocritical, if you ask me. But, I mean, I, I really don't know how they could have caught it at all. Do you? I mean, I'm sure they were following the guidelines, wearing a mask, social distancing. Never mind. They don't give a flying fuck. Obviously, no pun intended. <laughs> I mean, look at them. No social distancing, no mask, any other airlines, and they would be kicked off. They would kick everybody off the plane, call the cops. Oh, yeah. But, hey, like I said, rules for thee, not for me. That is the Democrats' mantra. Vice President Kamala Harris went to Walter Reed Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland on Sunday for a routine doctor's appointment. Visit comes after Harris said she was not, that she will not quarantine or getting tested after she met Tuesday with two Texas lawmakers who tested positive for coronavirus. That's right. She doesn't have to follow the rules. Why? Why should she, huh? Remember, rules for thee, not for me. This, that's, <laughs> that's the uh, theme for today. I mean, literally, anybody else would be arrested right now and forced to quarantine until they knew for a fact that she did not test positive. I mean, she meets with tons of people all day, every day. But I guess she's going to continue risking everybody's life. But, hey, that's our vice president for you. At least 60 Democrats, lawmakers from Texas, fled the state on Monday to block the passing of an election integrity bill proposed by Republicans. A bill that will strengthen the integrity of the election. But no, the Democrats want to call it racist, a white supremacy tool. Modern-day Jim Crow law. That's what they say. And so they decided to go on to Washington. Well, 
A lot of people are upset about this, to be honest, and me too. I mean, honestly, if I just decided to leave work and take a month-long vacation, I can guarantee you I won't have a job. If I did it for a week, if I did it for a couple of days, I would be fired for refusing to do the job that I was instructed to do. I mean, they're trying to, right now, they're doing exactly what they didn't want to have during the 2020 election. Yes. You know, there's a vote that's getting ready to happen in Texas. It would have already happened if they were there. Now, they believe they would have lost the vote. So what are they doing? Avoiding the vote altogether. Pretty childish, if you ask me. And so, they packed up, spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on two private planes to go to Washington. Filled with beer. And they are having the time of their life posting on Instagram and Twitter about everything they're doing. Through all the harsh meals they have to eat, which is better than most of what I'm eating right now. And also their leopard lingerie that they want to hang over the bathroom. <laughs> Living so, so tough. They need to be fired, stripped away from the position. That's what needs to happen. It's not going to happen, but that's what needs to happen. And I'll tell you, 2022, people will remember. That's all I'm going to say about that. In the intervening days, the group has met with many high-powered politicians in the nation's capital, including Harris and Senator Elizabeth Warren. And you know what? Nothing, nothing has gotten accomplished at all. And that's facts. Literally, everything they're talking about is going, falling on deaf ears. I mean, sure, Joe Biden's mentioned a few things, but he always does. Only mentions things, kind of jumbles the words. You really don't know what he's talking about, so he might have been talking about something else, to be honest. But I dare digress. So, everybody, things are not looking good for the Texas Democrats as they keep getting infected with coronavirus, being hypocrites, and doing the things that they tell us not to do. Does it surprise you? It really shouldn't. But hey, that's all I'm going to talk about. That. I'm just going to let you know right now, I have another video coming out soon. I'm going to be reacting to Tom McDonald's withdrawals. One hell of a hard-hitting song that's, I mean, I imagine it's hitting everybody right now, especially with the opiate addictions that we have and the crisis. That our pharmaceutical companies have burden upon us. And I also have another video that I'll be doing with my son, reviewing Space Jam 2. Just a heads up, I didn't really like it too much. But hey, that's me. I'm more of a Michael Jordan fan because he's the GOAT. Always will be. Always is. The best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be, baby. <laughs> well, everybody, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Thanks for tuning in to Beyond the Scuttlebutt. If you like what you saw, please smash that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe. And as always, we encourage everybody to comment down below. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.